and welcome to another beautiful, beautiful day. It's a little overcast, a little windy outside, but it's not raining. There's some sun starting to peek through. I actually was just walking around outside trying to see if we could pull the truck and trailer back here tomorrow, and I think we can. That's the plan at least. We are going to try to get some of our bigger furniture and our washer and dryer and all those things here tomorrow so that we can move ourselves in officially like us stay here overnight uh and that's exciting i was gonna do some things outside today and i may still do that but i've got some stuff i need to get done in the house too so this is just gonna be a homemaker day in the life afternoon in the life it's already afternoon we took a little time getting here this morning in case you're new let me fill you in just a little bit there's a baby toy playing in the background that's okay but we recently bought this double wide mobile home. I'm Tiffany. This is our small town life. We're happy to have you here. Justin and I, my husband, recently purchased this double wide mobile home. We put it out here on an acre of land that we're turning into our own homestead and sharing all that here on this channel with you. And we'd love to have you join us on this journey. We are currently living with my mother-in-law. We have been for the past few months while we've been trying to get all of this taken care of. And everything here at our home is ready for us to move in except for somewhere for us to sleep i can i can do with the you know needing to go to my mom's to wash clothes honestly i would sleep on the floor <laughs> but justin's not about that he, he's not wanting to do that right now so we're going to get some of our bigger furniture over here this weekend hopefully and officially be here ourselves we've been coming and spending the day here eating supper here doing all those things and then just going back to my mother-in-law's to sleep but after this weekend prayerfully prayerfully we'll be in our home so what am i doing today i have got some cleaning and stuff that needs to be done there's some mud in the laundry room that needs to be cleaned up from where we've been walking in and out there are a few things here and there that need to be cleaned i need to run the dishwasher and and do all that i'm going to get some chili going that's the plan for supper tonight after ball practice I think I'm going to put chili in the crock pot, and then that way when we get done with ball practice, it'll be ready for us to eat. I've also got some sweet, sweet gifts that you all have sent, and I'm going to show those to you today. So lots, lots of fun things going on, and it's a beautiful day for it. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to start by opening up these windows in the kitchen. I did that when I was here yesterday, and I could hear the birds, and a breeze was coming in, and it made me <laughs> so happy and just just loving this warmer weather this springtime weather so i think that's what i'm gonna do and then we'll get started on some of the other things that we need to get done also yesterday afternoon someone came and started working on some of these things that i've y'all been talking about my blue tape that i've got everywhere that's where i marked some different things that needed to be worked on crooked handles scratch cabinets um doors that were uneven and not level and they came yesterday and started working on some of those things all the doors for the most part have been corrected a few other things here and there that have been corrected and then they said that some, some of the things they'll have to order from the manufacturer to be able to fix it and replace it but work has finally begun on <laughs> all my pieces of blue tape <laughs> purchased these from Walmart just some white flower sack towels and dish rag you like them thank you oh, how soft they are I'm gonna use these as dish cloths and dish towels and I thought it'd be easy to bleach them and keep them clean so I needed some new ones that was my thought process pick these up from Walmart and I need to get them put away
show y'all some stuff that some of y'all have sent us. That is so incredibly kind and thoughtful of you. Just even asking if you could send us something. But it blesses my heart to sit here and look at this. And the fact that you, you wanted to send it to us and bless our family. Thank you, thank you. Fun little story for you. I have wanted a kitchen scale for a long time. A long time. And I would never get myself one. God apparently knew I would be excited about a kitchen scale because two people have sent me one. And I've already started using them. And I'm so excited to have them. Uh, this one came from my friend Tony at Chaotic Country. She said thank you for encouraging her to get her sourdough starter going. And then as a housewarming gift, she sent me this. So I can use it with my sourdough starter. And I have. I've used both of these with it. And they work fantastic. I'm so happy to have them. It, you know, it's like I said in that video with the sourdough starter. You could do it without a kitchen scale. That's a modern convenience. They used, they didn't have that back in the day. But we have them today. <laughs> and it's so nice to have. And then this one came off of our Amazon wish list from Joy. As well as this sign here that says happiness is homemade. How sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. And then this came from Kathy. These coasters, they're so nice. And they say different things like, stay a while, choose happy, it feels so good to be home, home is the best place to be, home sweet home, and welcome home. Excited to have those. And then these Easter spatulas. Now, it didn't say who they were from. And I've been trying to figure it out. I've been doing a little asking around and trying to figure it out. So if it was you who sent them, let me know. It didn't have anything in there with them. And I'm going to get them washed up in just a minute so we can start enjoying them. I'm going to put them over here with my other spatulas so it adds a little bit of a spring and Easter touch to the house. But look at those colors. They say, Happy Easter, Hip Hop, and Hello Peeps. Let me know if you sent these. And then the last thing is from an Etsy shop called Granny's Girly Goodies. And sweet little lady Grace and her grandmother who run this business watch our videos. And she had reached out and asked if they could send us some things. And then if I could share it with you. And I was so excited to do that. And I've already gotten into this box as soon as I got it from the post office. I was tearing into it because I was excited about it. I'll insert some clips of how beautifully it was packaged. And they included a letter. And it talks about how Grace helps her grandmother with this business. But she also has a nonprofit called Grace's Gang. And it was started after her grandpa was diagnosed with stage 4 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And she would go with him to his treatments and she would either wait in the waiting room or she would, it says she would go up to the window and fist bump him. And she was noticing that a lot of times the women were gifted with things and the men weren't. She questioned that and they explained it to her the best they could. But she thought that the men deserved a little something special too. And so she started asking around and some neighbors and friends and corporations sponsored some things and she started putting together bags for them. And that's how Grace's gang was born. So there's a little information about that and I will link their Etsy shop down in the description box. But let me show you what they sent. This is a migraine or sinus mask. And it's filled with corn. And you can heat it or you can get it cold. And the day that I got this, I actually had a migraine and I was going to use it. And then just couldn't get to a place where I could <laughs> sit still long enough to use it. But this is going to come in very, very handy. And then they sent some lotions and a body scrub and it says too that they're very careful with what they use in their moisturizers and in their skin products because grace had very sensitive skin and so they were trying to develop things that would work well for her audrey you like this don't you she loves this lotion here it's homemade pancakes scent and she is all about it it smells really good and they sent the same scent in the body scrub so, it smells like fall to you? It doesn't smell, well, I guess so. It kind of, it just smells like stuff baking in the kitchen. 
It smells good. So thank you, Grace. Thank you, thank you for sending that, for thinking of us and asking if you could send it. We certainly appreciate it. And like I said, I'll link their shop down in the description box. They were in high school when they met Things got kind of awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together ooh And one day she said Write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh Baby, I only want you So I'm finding that In my sink The bottom wants to scratch pretty easily the bottom wants to scratch pretty easily. I've been looking, I don't know if you can see, but there's already a couple scratches in there. I've been looking to see what I could put in the bottom. I know they make some of the racks that sit up a little bit off the bottom. They make some that's like a silicone. Have any of y'all used anything like that? Do you have any opinions on them? If so, let me know. What are you doing? I found out who sent me my spatulas. I thought that I knew. But I asked to be sure, and it was Shasta from Abiding Farmhouse. Thank you, Shasta. All right, y'all. It's time for me to round this crew up, get them ready for ball practice, and then we'll come back and eat us some chili. It smells delicious. I know it's going to be delicious. Audrey helped make it, so it's it's bound to be good. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining us today, spending a lot of time with me doing some things around the house. We love you. We appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. See ya. I love